Hello and welcome to another uh, unboxing video. So uh, today I'm looking at um, some figures uh, which I got through a recent Kickstarter uh, called March to Rome and um, it's uh, a set of 3D printable files um, from uh, uh, Rome and uh, Celtic so you, there are two sides and you get troops from both sides um, plus there's some um, some um, stretch goals which haven't come out yet um, with uh, various other stuff but uh, we'll look at that on another day so this is only um, this only uh, came to fruition or, or what do you call it when a Kickstarter reaches its uh, its end um, last week so uh, since uh, I got the files, uh, well the files were only released last week, so since I got the files I've been printing these on uh, my resin printers and um, I thought we'd take a look at the Romans first. So uh, let's look at the, uh, the artillery first, we'll start with the, the little scorpion. Uh, I've started to paint these um, and you can see this has got its first uh, its first coat, um, but it's a, it's a, a very nice little file um, with some some nice little detail. Um, very pleased with with these, um, but these are only really printable on a resin printer. Um, certainly, the figures you yeah, you can't print in plastic. Then we'll move on to the catapult. So again some nice nice detail the catapult is loaded. It comes in two parts actually this uh, the front the top frame pops off um, but it might have been I don't think I stuck it down. No, I, I won't uh, I won't force it. So again, a really nice little model, and you get the crews uh, for these, and then the uh, the massive ballista. Again, this is uh, two parts, so that pops off the base. And again, some uh, some nice detail, sort of showing the wood. And the ropes. Uh, I don't think I've printed out uh, or I've uh, undercoated any of the uh, crew yet for the, for the uh, artillery. Um, so let's look at uh, some of the troops. So these are they. Um, as I say, resin printed. These are uh, 28 millimeter. Uh, they come in two, um, two uh, sets, you get 15mm and 28mm and uh, if you're into printing uh, certainly the 28mm come either su pre-supported or you can add your own supports and I think most of these I um, use the pre-supported versions and uh, as with all my uh, unboxing videos these days um, I spray paint them white and then give them a a black wash. So um, in terms of uh, troops, uh, Roman troops, you get um, spe uh, spears or javelins, uh, you get pylums, you get swords, slingers and archers. So um, there's a spear. But I mean the detail on these is really really quite nice. Um, you look at the sandals there um, and the chain mail. And the pelt. Of course, giving it a black wash just uh, helps to highlight the details for the videos. Now, um, if your sort of bolt action warlord figures are 28mm heroic, then these are kind of 28mm chunky. Um, 
Uh, detail on the face there, very nice. Yeah, they're quite quite chunky f figures. Um, you can see the lacing up of the uh, the armour there. Uh, a couple of slingers. I mean, I've got no idea what they'll look like on the uh, on the battlefield with uh, Victrix figures, which is what I've I've got. Um, you know, whether the uh, the difference is going to be too great to uh, to stomach, or uh, whether they'll go together. But um, because you get uh, both sides, I mean, you could field a complete army in these, and then a complete army of uh, Celts. Uh, in opposition, but uh, again, very nice figures. Um, of course, they come with um, there's five or six different types of shield, and there is a blank shield. So I, I'm not sure how um, how the commercial uh, decals will measure up to the uh, the shields, but um, these are 3D. Uh, so I guess they're quite easily paintable without making too much of a hash. Um, and then we've got a couple of archers. You get, uh, I think, five or six different positions for each uh, group. So, for instance, we've got um, kneeling, uh, retrieving an arrow from his quiver and firing, standing. But again, considering these are... 3D printed. I think these are superb. They did do um, a previous Kickstarter called, I think it was March, March to Hell, and it was uh, Pacific Japanese and Marines, which I didn't get uh, on board. So I don't, I don't know what they were like, but I think they're um, similar in kind of stature and size. So some of the mounted figures. I mean, the horse. Uh, these are only held on by blue tack. The horses do have a, a slight um, sort of fairground cartoony look to them and they're not sort of sleek thoroughbreds they're, um, they're, they're um, um, kind of farmyard or funfair um, in kind of stature but uh, but they are very nice, very nice um, designs, and the detail is is really good. So that's one of my uh, generals. We've got a standard bearer. I've not. Um, decided how to mount these yet, hence uh, I've not put them on any stands. Um, and I've lost my bag of uh, bottle tops, which I normally sort of mount them to for painting. They're around here somewhere, but for the life of me I can't find them. So I'm saving up a new set of bottle tops before I start painting them. Um, and then we've got some, you know, the auxiliary cavalry. Again, you get a choice of shields. But, um, I mean, overall, I'm really impressed with these. Um, I've been printing them almost non-stop for um, the last few days. And um, just another horse. Um, oh, there's a, a couple of uh, attack dogs. And with a handler. I don't think I've uh, undercoated the handler. There's two dogs in two different positions. Um, so have we looked at them all? Um, so overall, very pleased with these. And um, can't wait to paint some up and get them based up. So 
So there we have it, the um, 28mm uh, uh, 3D uh, files for um, the March to Rome Kickstarter. And I'll have a look at the, um, uh, the counts uh, in another video. Thanks very much for watching.